How you doing, YouTube? Mountain Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, we have a little IPA action in the form of Lost Nation Brewing's Mosaic. Um, yeah, first Lost Nation review. I've had a couple of their beers. Um, actually, I, I think all the Lost Nations I've had is uh, were at, have been at a restaurant called Eddie's Roadhouse. Now, for those that don't know, I've mentioned it before, but... Yeah, there's a town called Warwick, New York. I go there all the time. I go up to Russian Duck. There's a little um, restaurant burger joint down in uh, in Warwick called Eddie's Roadhouse. Best burger you'll ever have in the universe. Owner, Eddie. Mad awesome. And, uh, yeah, their tap list is insane. And uh, had this a couple times there. Can't uh, believe a season I had there. And then some stuff on draft. So, been looking forward to giving it a review. I ended up picking up a can. There you go. Stories. So yeah, as far as what it says on the can itself, it says, um, We who have wandered are not lost. Vermont brewed. Lost Nation Brewing Mosaic IPA. 5.5% alcohol by volume. And that'd be that. No story time. Uh, date Nazis. We're looking at do, 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 a little, just a hair under three weeks old. So it should be in your realm of awesomeness. And yeah, label-wise, don't like it. Um, just, you know, just not one of my favorite labels. I don't hate it. Um, just something about it, just the art design or something just doesn't do it for me, but again, art is very subjective, just like beers, but, uh, yeah. Let's see what the sucker has. Give her a good pour. Um, yeah, the, the beers that I've had from Lost Nation have been pretty damn good. A lot of funkiness going on, a lot of, um, wild yeast, a lot of, um, very... Very Vermonty, let's put it that way, as far as their yeast profiles. So it's cool. I believe the I had a saison, a sour saison, a saison, a funky saison. I don't think I've had an IPA, so it's going to be fun to actually dive into these suckers, see what they have. Uh, half pinky finger, just off white head. Eh, decent creaminess for what kind of head there is there. And color-wise, you know, it's got that look. It's got that, you know, um, hazy turbid yellow with a bit of honey um, kind of uh, haziness that... Um, we talk about it all the time with all these fucking IPAs that I review. Anyway, um, so yeah, she looks the part. Let's see if she smells the part. Ooh, yeah, peaches. Peaches. Sweet, sweet peaches. Um, yeah, stone fruit abounds. You're getting a little bit of tropical fruit in there, a little bit of kind of the kiwi star fruit vibes. A nice sweetness to it, too. And this smells absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, you're getting juicy peaches like i said the star fruit you're getting a little bit of like piney bitterness but not even close to being anything but just a little bit of balance on that sweetness the malt base is nice um smells like there might be a little bit of weediness in here i said wheat not weed yeah smells absolutely beautiful Way very rounded yet impactful at the same time. Not really jarring as far as the no goes. Very just warming and welcoming and juicy and all that fun fun stuff that we love. That I love at least. So yeah, she looks the part. She absolutely smells the part. Let's hope she tastes the part. Cheers. Okay. Not nearly as huge or vibrant in the mouth than it is in the nose. But it's still really fucking good. There definitely has to be, like, I don't want to say wild, but a, a more aggressive, that's not the word I'm looking for, a more um, the Vermont-style, New England-style yeast going on here. It's not just a base yeast to carry the day of the beer. There is a dryness to it. There is a bit of funkiness, a little kind of peppery bite on it, almost like a Saison yeast. Then you get into the fruits from the hops themselves. Like I said, pretty much what I was getting on the nose, peaches still lead the day in this one. Stone fruit leads the day, but they're not nearly as gigantic as they were in the nose. And and I still stand by that. There has to be, I think there's some wheat involved in this one. If not wheat, a little bit of oats, but I'm getting kind of wheat vibes in this one. Um, yeah, really beautiful, rounded, enjoyable, delicious fucking beer. The added element of the yeast in this one really does it for me. I'm a yeast... Junkie, I'm a whore for a lot of things, and yeast is one of them. You see it criminally underused with a lot of IPAs and other beers, um, almost at a point where it's not even, it's an afterthought, it seems like, for some brewers. And this, when I get a an IPA that actually uses the yeast in a positive manner, um, it kind of turns me on. Uh, so yeah, absolutely delicious beer. 
Um, and uh, yeah, haven't had a bad one from Lost Nation yet, so we're on a good roll so far. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better um, base IPAs I've had as of late? Yeah, not the best, but in in the running, um, just that, like I said, it gives me what I love. I love the stone fruit portion of the show when it comes to IPAs and double IPAs and these New England style IPAs. And it gives me a heaping helping in the nose and enough in the mouth to really turn me on. But at the same time, uh, the yeast kind of just adds that extra dimension to it. And with that added kind of what I believe is kind of a, like I said, a, like a, a wheat aspect to the malt base, I think it just, uh, it just reeks of New England, reeks of Connecticut, reeks of Vermont, reeks of those, of those breweries up there, and it just really kind of showcases exactly what they're all about, so it kind of just does it for me. Value and availability, paid three bucks for this can, three or four dollars for this can. To me, that's not too shabby, especially at a single can price, so uh, that doesn't suck. Lost Nation, like I said, I haven't been able to see the, I haven't seen a can anywhere in my area. I've driven up to New York, the Warwick area, and it's the first time I've seen a can on the shelves there. Might have been there before, just never noticed it, or it just gets, sells out, but uh, I was able to pick it up, and uh, yeah, so your mileage may vary on that. I assume the closer you get through the Vermont kind of area, the better you'll do, and just say if you like what we well, you like this. If you like your classic Vermont's uh, IPAs, if you're, you know, your Hill Farmsteads, Vermont, Connecticut, Hill Farmstead, your um, your Alchemist, your, you know, your Bissells, your uh, Mains, your beers like that, that are, are not as just a super aggressively over-the-top hop and kind of bring that yeast character to the forefront and do a little bit more with the beer yeast-wise, then this is definitely be right up your alley. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did, didn't, somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice beer right now. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.